Kelly. And I'm Jen from Carson DeLosa. And today we are going to be talking about 10 frames. So Jen, can you tell us a little bit about what a 10 frame is? Simply Kelly, it is a frame of 10 small boxes that teachers can use in their classrooms and small groups, centers, whole group instruction to help kids really understand numbers 1 through 10. I just happened to be showing you how students would be placing counters in the 10 frame to understand the number 3. Great, so we're nothing too fancy here, just 10 boxes Simple and building boxes. up to the number 10. Okay. Absolutely. Now tell me about these pocket charts that you have on display. I see it looks like we've got some 10 frames built in. Absolutely. This is actually one pocket chart. We're just oh. showing you the front side and the back side. So very versatile, takes up very little space in the classroom because you can just flip it when, depending on what your need is. On the first side, we do provide these great write on wipe away cards so teachers can keep programming these cards again and again to differentiate instruction depending on which students are using them. We give you pictures so students can actually interact and play out a little story. This one happens to be a fish bowl so students can play with, oh there are two red fish and there are six yellow fish in the bowl and they can actually act it out. Oh, fun. Now tell me what's the difference in the front side and the back side is in terms of teaching? Well, a lot of teachers like to start with a horizontal um, positioning of a 10 frame and then move on to a vertical positioning. So the pockets on the back side of the pocket chart allow the 10 frame to be positioned in this way. This just happens to be a problem we set up for kids to show seven in three different ways. But the greatest thing I think about the back side of the pocket chart is the storage pocket. As a teacher in the classroom, especially with math manipulatives, I would always lose these because they'd always be in a separate baggie or a separate box in the classroom. So it's nice that I can keep all the materials that I need for any way that I want to use this pocket chart right here in this handy pocket. Sounds great. And these little um, counters that you were showing us, mm -hmm. are these something that every teacher has? You know, some teachers do have these two-sided counters, but we provided them for the teachers in the pocket chart, so you wouldn't have to go out and buy something special. And they are printed two-sided, the red on one side and the yellow on the other side. Great. Okay. And now tell me about the book that we have. This is an adorable book, Kelly. I'm not sure if you've seen the inside pictures of this, but we do provide games, um, instructional strategies for parents and teachers. And look at this art style. It is absolutely engaging. Students feel like they're playing when they're doing their math work. They're looks telling like a story. Book. Absolutely. We start with some five frames in the book and move on to some ten frames. Now in class, I would use my regular math manipulatives that I have. But if I need to send this home for extra reinforcement, what's great about each page is that there are counters that students can just cut apart at home and use them on their own. Oh, wow, that's great. So parents don't have to go out and find these manipulatives. Absolutely not. They have um, manipulatives right here at the bottom that they can use with all of the pictures. That sounds great. And tell me, where can teachers find all of these products? Teachers can find these at our website, carsondelosa.com, or at a local retailer near them. And as always, thank you for watching. And if you have any tips or ideas you'd like to send us, please send them to ideas at carsondelosa.com. And thank you, everyone, for watching.